What's going on guys? Tanner with Elite Sports Cards here and today we are in Fairfield again for the Fairfield Card Show at the Solano Town Center and today's goal is one thing and one thing only and that is buying. I'm set up here. I rented half a table from OK Rips. You guys have seen them in many of the videos. I literally have half the table with a buying sign. That's all I'm here to do. I have my money pouch loaded up. Uh, we have roughly $1,200 to spend today, so the goal is just to get as much value as possible for $1,200 so I can start uh, restreaming on whatnot and moving things on there. So it is currently 9.45 in the morning. The show starts at 10, uh, so we have about 15 minutes before everything gets going, but uh, we're hoping to get a lot of stuff done today and a lot of new cards into the collection. So I'll show you guys a little bit of the show here in a little bit when more vendors come in. It's still a little, a little quiet in here, but... Uh, should be a good day. I always have a good time at this show. I always have a successful time at this show. So um, I will check back in with you guys here in a little bit. I've had that forever. Four color patch, one out of ten rookie Eleni. I've had that in there forever. That thing's on eBay too. It just doesn't move. All right, guys. So so far, we got some stuff picked out. Um, hopefully, we get a deal done here on it. But <laughs> the Henry Ruggs <laughs> RPA, the uh, Sam Howell out of ninety nine. The sauce on card, scripted signatures, and then this Brian Robinson out of 10 from Encased. Uh, so we're gonna price this out and probably get a deal done here in a second. Ugh. What we got here? So last on him did 75. The last on the only recent comp on here was the out of 50 as a PSA 9 to 30 bucks. So I don't even know where to go on him for the out of 10. Here, the last one, the most recent sale was a 10 that did 250, and then a raw one in October did 140, which that's fucking four months ago almost. And then here, I don't even know what you want to do on Henry Ruggs. <laughs> well, I just buy that because I like the patch. It's a gross card, man. Like, people just make decisions. I right. honestly think a PSA 9 would probably do like 60 bucks. I would offer, what is that like? I'd offer 55 for the pair. Do you have a picture of that Howl comp? His stuff, I, it pisses me off how cheap his stuff his is. His stuff is way too cheap. I, and he's not even that bad either. He just gets sacked too much. It's it's their own fault. line's terrible. Yeah. But like, at the same time, that's not his fault. You said how much for the pair? Uh, I would pay 55 for the pair. You just round it up to 60? Yeah, right. All right. Appreciate you, bro. All right, guys. So we got one deal done to start the day. The Brian Robinson and the Howell, we've had these forever. I just want to cash on them. So we got 60 bucks for them. That's sure. fine, I'll take it, but. Keep it moving, sometimes you gotta cut your losses. That's, that's literally, I've had that card game. since early the, earlier than November. There's 20 back, or 40 back for you. Ugh, but more in the bank to buy. It's the, the goal for today is to buy as much as possible. Today should be a good buying day for you guys, especially if you're set up, it should be so much fun. Right? Oh, for sure. Uh, also, I do have a YouTube channel if anyone's watching. Uh, the YouTube is just my name, Jonathan Marr. Um, also, come give my guy a sub. Uh, Elite Sports Cars, right? Yes, sir. He gives amazing deals, super easy to work with. Um, and he's actually got a bunch of heat in here. So if you're at Fairfield, give this man's table a, a visit. So Yes, sir. I'll throw his, uh, his YouTube up on the screen. Appreciate he's always you, making vlogs. He's traveling a lot, too. He's always at the different shows with different creators. So good day. Good way to start the day. Thanks here for the deal. Yes, sir. Appreciate you start pricing some of these out. I like the Iverson. There's not a ton of room. Someone will probably offer me 10 on it. There's not a ton of room and it might sit for a while. And then on Shaq, I want to be at 20. So I'd be at 30 for the four. Yeah. It's just with that out of 25 of the same year being that low, it just, it makes it really difficult for me to want to pay more than, than what it was. Thirty for these four? Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. All right. 
All right, guys, so we got that done. 130 point stopped working. <laughs> so I'll post the picture on the screen, but just a quick overview. O2 Derek Jeter, PSA 10. Uh, I was talking about this with Candlestick like 20 minutes ago that I never see Shaq autos, and then a Shaq auto appeared right after, so pretty nice. Uh, Isaiah Stewart, rookie auto out of 149, and then a game used patch of Allen Iverson. So we paid 30 bucks for all that, got a deal done, and I am a happy camper to finally have bought something today. I, this stuff is mine. Yeah, and then there's like a couple stragglers inside the cases, but I'm mainly just buying today. Okay. I have a number in mind for what I want to pay, but I want to see what, what you're thinking on it. Let me let me see what I'm gonna show the I'm gonna show the camera this. So he he brought up probably the strangest card I've seen. Uh, so it's it's not strange in the in the meaning of it, it's just not something you see. So it's a 2012 Prime Signatures. So on the front you have Andrew Luck, Robert Griffin the third, Ryan Tannehill, and Brandon Whedon. So those are the four on the front. But then you go to the back and you have Justin Blackman, Michael Floyd, Trent Richardson, and Doug Martin, which everyone there has a story in their own right of why they were successful or not successful. But I mean, it's it's definitely it's definitely interesting. I have my number in mind. I want to know what you're thinking. Probably 80 or 80. Okay, it's higher than where I was thinking. Yeah. I think I think it's worth like 70 to 75 say, bucks. Oh, it's 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 something that someone's gonna have. Someone's gonna really have to like want it. I was th I was gonna want to be at 40 bucks on it because my thought is I'm gonna pay the 40, I'm gonna throw it on eBay, I may sell it for 60, and then after they take 13 percent, I make like eight nine bucks. So I, I just think it's cool. It's interesting, but if, if it's not 50, I'm gonna keep it if that's all right. Okay, that's perfectly so fine, man. If you want it for 50, it's short. If not, I'm gonna hold on to it. Not a big deal. It's it's interesting. Let me think about it. Um, that's just something that. Yeah. Let me see if there's any of them that are actually listed on eBay, because there was only like two sales. Yeah, there's like two listed. They must be just saying that no one has, like no one's, they're just not pulled or no one posts them, but there's there's two that I see. You said 50 was your bottom on it? Yeah. I'll give you 50 for it. I'll take the shot on it. It's just, it's, it's different. It is it's not something. Different. It's not something you see every day. The, the, the Luck Griffin alone is, is cool enough. Yeah. When I saw yeah, the... That's the only reason I held on to it. Doesn't it have Chubb on it too? No, it no, has no, uh, Doug no, Martin. Yeah, Doug Martin. So uh, it had Doug yeah. Martin and Trent Richardson. Because oh, yeah, that Trent. one that did 100, it had Russell Wilson on it. Right. And I'm like, that's why it went right. for more. But I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll take a shot on it. So there you are, well, brother. I appreciate you. Yes, sir. Good luck. So, all right, guys, we ended up picking it up. Uh, I'm going to have to need some. So, guys, a gentleman came up. Are you okay with being on camera? I'm all good, man. All right. So he came up, and uh, we have a lot of good stuff here that I'm about to look through. There's probably 25, 30 slabs. If you want to start with like this. Oh, my goodness. This is going to take, it's going to take a minute, guys, but it's going to be well worth it. All right, guys, so it's probably the chemical. It's probably not great. The lighting in here is all weird all of a sudden. We just completed two huge, well, one huge deal and then another deal. So the first one we got done was with our boy John at Double Up the Cards. You guys have seen him. You guys have seen him many times on the channel. Uh, he brought by the 2021 Select Gold, uh, Gold Wave Prism Austin Reeves PSA 10. We paid 150 bucks for it. Uh, I like Austin Reeves. Just, you know, spark plug on the Lakers. I figured that was a decent pickup, but it's going to stay in the PC for a while. What's interesting, though, is the gold wave. I thought it would be numbered, but it's not numbered. So that was, you know. This other deal we picked up, uh, you kind of saw those cards come up. Um, I tried to buy the whole lot. His numbers and my numbers were just too far off. So I picked out, like, ten cards from there, and we got a deal done. So the first one is the C.J. Stroud Orange Laser. Justin Fields, red checkerboard. Junior Caminero, Bowman, auto. Not the first Bowman, but just the Bowman. Uh, Cam Thomas, rated rookie auto. That is out of 99, the red. Uh, and I'll post uh, full pictures of these at the end of it, but Jordan Love, select silver. Joe Burrow, select silver. 
<clears throat> Darren Fox, rated rookie. Justin Jefferson, red mosaic. Uh, both those are PSA 9s, Jefferson Canvas. And then I picked up, hates that I did this because he's a Packer, but Jordan Love, in-person auto. Uh, it's a PSA 10 on the blue Raider rookie. And then same thing on the canvas as a PSA 10. So we picked all that stuff up. Uh, we're gonna do a little more buying and then we will go from there. All right guys, so uh, we did a lot of buying in the last hour or so. Uh, we're going to go through everything we picked up. This was two separate deals. Neither person wanted to be on camera. But um, first card, Ray Allen Auto. Uh, Aaron Rodgers Spectra. This is out of 75. This is a blue refractor out of 299. Tony Romo from 08 Finest. Uh, Chronicles, John Morant rookie. Justin Fields rookie, Prism Break. PSA 10, one of those flashback Prism Herberts, PSA 9. This one I thought was absolutely sick. This is a Champ Bailey, uh, Topps Finest Red out of 399. It's a PSA 10. Jalen Hurts, Silver Mosaic. Tua, Red Die Cut. 2014 LeBron Select Rookie, or not Rookie, Select. Uh, Clinton Portis Camo out of 25. Jalen Hurts, Blue Prism from Select out of 149. This is uh, 2022, it's a PSA 10. Uh, National Treasures, this is a uh, framed fabric, Mark Andrews, 25 out of 25. Uh, it's not game worn, but he just got reactivated, so he's playing tomorrow. Hopefully he balls out. Select White Baker Mayfield, uh, Concourse out of 75. Out of 80, the Red Fusion Choice or whatever it is, Aaron Rodgers. It's like a $10 card, I thought it was cool. And then the up and coming Contenders Optic Rookie Gold Auto of Austin Reeves, number three out of 10. So we picked up all this. Um, I think we paid about 500 bucks combined for all of it for the two separate deals. So I'm super happy, but we pit, we've bought like 40 cards today. So there's definitely going to be a story sale, stuff posted on eBay, so on and so forth. Uh, but we're coming to the end of the show here, and it's been a great day. We're going to get ready for trade night and hopefully make some more deals. I'm almost out of cash, though, so that is a little bit of an issue, a little bit of an issue. But overall, really good day. All right, guys, so it is the next day after the show. I just got done watching the playoff football game. So we're going to go over everything I bought from the show yesterday. My main goal was to buy a bunch of inventory with trying to get a lot of stuff to send off to PSA. So this first uh, literal stack is going to be all stuff that's raw, and then I could probably, uh, potentially grade. So first we have Cam Thomas. This is the uh, rated rookie. This is out of 99. I thought this was pretty cool, Cam Thomas. Um, one of those guys that's going to go out, he's either going to get 40 or he's going to get 10. You never know what's in between, but he's an absolute bucket and a lot of, lot of people really like him. So I figured I could get this graded before the all-star break and have it back in time. Next up is a field level silver, Joe Burrow. Um, Joe Burrow is always going to have a market. People are always going to buy Joe Burrow, especially his, uh, his silvers. And with it being a field level, gives it that much more intrigue to it. But I thought this was a nice one. A little cheaper end PSA submission there. This is the, I believe, Premier Level. Yeah, Premier Level Jordan Love. Uh, it's Select Silver as well. A little another cheap $15, $20 card, but something you can possibly send off if not toss on eBay. Make a quick sale on that. Next up, you guys know I'm a Bears fan. So the Justin Fields Red Checkerboard. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Oh, we're maxed. Uh, Justin Fields red checkerboard. I really, really like Justin Fields. I'm still buying his stuff, even though I told myself I wouldn't. Uh, I don't like to buy a lot of players for teams that I root for. It's just so you get that connection to them, and you don't want to sell anything. But I have about seven of his cards right now, so I picked up the red checkerboard with the intention of getting it graded. It looked pretty good. Uh, when I take it out of the sleeve, we'll see how good it looks. Next up is a National Treasures framed fabric, Mark Andrews. This is number 25 out of 25, and it's a four-color patch, purple, black, gold, and white. I thought this was absolutely gross. I was hoping that they would have got him more involved in their game plan today, and I also thought Baltimore was going to win. So, But this is something that someone's going to want it. It's, you know, it's probably going to be an eBay piece, but 
I thought it was still nice nonetheless. One of the better tight ends in the league on a four-color patch out of 25. You don't see that kind of stuff very often, so I uh, like that little pickup there. Next is the Baker Mayfield. This is the select uh, rookie. It's a, like a white border out of 75. This is the concourse level from his year in 20... I think he was 18, right? should say up there. Yeah, 18. Um, I really like Baker. I thought he got did dirty by the, by the Browns, and I loved the way he came back this year. And even though they lost in the playoffs, I mean, he was slinging the living... I, I, he, was, he was killing it. He was throwing the ball like no other, and even in that final game, he threw for over 300 yards and three touchdowns and a loss. So I like him. I thought this was another card that could go off on a cheap PSA submission, so I picked this one up. Next up is the uh, the Choice Joe Burrow on the red-yellow. This is numbered out of 44. Uh, same as the other one. I get, you know, playoffs are done for them. He was hurt for a majority of the year. Um and it's but it's burrow everyone's gonna want burrow this was another one that i like for the psa sub i thought this was really cool so another one that'll get sent off i really like him and i'm excited to see what he comes back next year and does and what the Bengals do this offseason to just to help him and benefit their team next up is a man on his way to the super bowl as a rookie rasheed rice this is an elite series rookies out of 99 I thought they were going to lose today. I really did. And uh, now I'm kind of happy that they won because I picked this up. Uh, it's only like a $60, $70 card, but this kid's a stud. I mean, he's he's one of the better young receivers in the league, and he seems to always be there when the Chiefs need him the most. He's, in my opinion, I get Travis Kelsey is their number one receiver. He's a tight end. But this guy right here is their number one wide out. And he shows it every week why he is. He had seven or eight catches today for like 60 yards, but... He's an absolute stud. Picked up that one. And at the same time, I picked up that one. I also picked up this one. It's a draft picks. But it's an RPA from uh, from Rasheed Rice as well out of 199 with just a napkin on it. I thought it was another little cool piece. I really, really like Rasheed. I think he's going to be a very good receiver for many years to come, especially when catching passes from Patrick Mahomes. But another little Rasheed Rice there. Next up is Junior Caminero. So this dude is an absolute stud prospect. I believe he's number six right now in the pipeline. But um, a few weeks ago, I saw uh, Ryan's Cards LLC. He was posting a bunch of st uh, Junior Caminero stuff for sale. And I saw the prices on it. And I was like, I've never heard of this dude. So he's not a pro ball player yet. And I started looking him up. And I was like, okay, you know, I get the hype then. And this came across my table yesterday. And once I saw the name, I was like, I got to have it. I know everyone loves this kid. It's a great investment piece, and I planned on sending this to PSA as well um, because he's going to be in the big leagues either at the beginning of the year or at some point in the year next year, especially with Wander Franco being gone. This is their next shortstop right here. So Junior Caminero, um, in a little, I think this is the Mega Box, the Mojo, whatever it is, but Bowman Chrome from 2023 for Caminero. As you guys can see there, look at his, I mean, the numbers on the back of the car for minor league, 11 home runs, 51 RBIs, a slugging 500 with a 314 average and an OPS of 882. The kid's a stud. I mean, and he did that in 60 games. He's a stud. So that's going to be a nice little piece to send off. This was a little value box play. Uh, it was a cheap little piece that I got in a deal as kind of a toss in, but Isaiah Stewart, it's a rookie card. It's got his auto. It's a fresh paint from what? I don't remember the name of the product. I'm, oh, it's also numbered. I didn't even see that numbered one out of 149. First on print, it's court Kings is the name of it. Uh, but I thought this was cool. Isaiah Stewart, he's nothing crazy, but he's a solid, he's a solid role player. I mean, he starts, but he's just, you know, he's not going to go out there and, and drop 30, He's just going to you know, be an enforcer, kind of. But I like him. I like his game. And I thought this was a nice little piece. It's only like a $5 card, but figured it would be a value box thing or something we sell on whatnot. Next up is an Allen Iverson. This is a SP Game Used. It's from Upper Deck. So this is actually Game Used Allen Iverson. Um, does it say you received an Allen Iverson Game Used trading card on the front of this card as memorabilia when he was a member of the 70s? As a member of the 76ers, um, that's interesting because they have him in a Denver Nugget uniform on the card, and the patch says it's from a Sixers game because it says as a member of the Philadelphia 76ers in a game. That's interesting, but this was only like a $3 card. I just thought it was cool. AI stuff's pretty cool. Game used. You don't see very often, so picked it up. 
Next up was one of my favorite pickups of the weekend, a CJ Shroud Orange Laser from Prism. This is going into that PSA order as well. We all saw what CJ did this year. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. CJ is a stud. There's not much to say about this. I just, I'm hoping this thing gets a 10 because I am holding it for next season most likely. So CJ Stroud on the orange laser. Next uh, is a Shaquille O'Neal from Pro Set, Leaf Pro Set with the auto. So I, I, I grabbed this. It's a cheap little like $25 card, but I thought it was pretty cool. So Shaq auto. And then we have another uh, red yellow. I think it's like the fusion choice. Aaron Rodgers numbered out of 80, 18 out of 80. And this is another little cheap piece. I just thought it was cool. Something, you know, colored mosaic can sell it on whatnot. Next up, the gold rookie uh, optic contenders, Austin Reeves out of 10. I love Austin Reeves. I'm a huge Lakers fan and I think he's a stud. So I felt like this was a no brainer. Um, I feel like his stuff is kind of undervalued. I mean, the way he played in the playoffs last year, he's a, he's a stud, but this might be another piece that gets sent off to grading. It's definitely off center, um, left to right. So I don't know, but I thought it was pretty cool. So Austin Reeves gold out of 10. Next up is another Austin Reeves gold and but this one is a PSA 10. This is the gold wave prism from select. It is the court side, but it is not numbered, which I thought was interesting. It's the gold out of 10 with no numbering. Um, but it got a PSA 10. I bought this, uh, off my buddy, John, uh, double lucky cards. Thought this was a pretty cool piece and I love myself some Austin Reeves. So we grabbed that. This hurt to purchase as a Bears fan. Jordan Love PSA DNA on the blue press proof rated rookie. The auto got a 10. These actually surprisingly do a lot of money. The last one of the blue did $300. I did not think they would do that much. But I thought this was cool. Jordan Love's market is still hot even after they got knocked out of the playoffs. But So I picked up that one. And I picked up his canvas rated rookie one with a PSA 10 auto as well. And this one does about 225 to 250 bucks. Um, but th these are both going to be eBay cards for sure. Not too many people I know like to buy the PSA DNA stuff. But there's collectors for it on, uh, on eBay that like this kind of stuff. Next up, we have an O2 Upper Deck Ballpark Idols Derek Jeter in a PSA 10. This was like a kind of a throw-in piece. The last sale on this card was like in 2022 in like March. So there's no comps on it, but it was a it was a toss in in the back end of a deal uh, and a larger deal. A guy wanted to keep one of the other cards and he said, "Would you take this instead?" And I was like, "I mean, there hasn't been a sale on it in almost three years, but um, or two years." But it, the last sale was like 30 bucks, and it's early year Derek Jeter in a 10. I was like, yeah, I'll take it. Next up, we have a bunch of slabs here. I thought this was probably the most interesting pickup of the weekend. So this is a BGS 9. It's a 2012 Prime Signatures Pen Pals of the, uh, tw the top rookies in 2012. So we have on-card uh, autographs of Andrew Luck, RG3, Ryan Tannehill, Brandon Whedon, and then on the back, we have Justin Blackman, Michael Floyd, Trent Richardson, and Doug Martin. Eight autographs. It has a BGS 10 autograph cert on the back with a nine on the front. I paid 50 bucks for this. We had no idea how to how to price it. The guy hit it in a like a break on whatnot as like a um a giveaway kind of thing, I guess. And so he didn't even really know how to price it, but I thought it was cool and I wanted to take a shot on it. This is definitely an eBay card, but I thought this was pretty cool. I, I So I, I grabbed it. Uh, I paid 50 bucks for this one. I remember this one specifically. Next up is a canvas rated rookie of Justin Jefferson and a PSA 9. A red mosaic Justin Jefferson and a PSA 9. A De'Aaron Fox optic rated rookie and a PSA 9. These were just some cheap things I picked up. A 2022 Jalen Hurts select blue prism PSA 10. This one is... Uh, the premier level numbered two out of 149. So one off Jersey, but two out of 149 PSA 10 here. Surprisingly, this is only like a $35 card. I thought it'd be a little more. Next up is the Clinton Portis. This is the uh, sign uh, sensational signatures. This is the Navy camo PSA nine numbered six out of 25. I loved Clinton Portis growing up. I thought he was an absolute stud. Um, my grandfather was a huge Washington fan, so he really liked Clinton Portis as well. I saw this and I was like, that's, that's a no brainer kind of thing to pick up there. Next up is a 2014 LeBron James, uh, select PSA nine. Um, 
this is like a $15 card, but anything you can get from like that second stint with LeBron on the Cavs, I thought it was pretty cool. So I picked up this one. It was a little cheap piece, but something, you know, whatnot streams, one of those little, maybe it's even a giveaway piece on whatnot. Next up is a red die cut uh, of Tua Tagovailoa in a PSA 10 from his rookie year. Um, this is the concourse on here. I thought this was another little cool piece. It's tough to get tens on die cuts, but Tua's market will stays to it continues to stay strong regardless. So I thought that was pretty cool. This is a NFL debut silver prism Jalen Hurts PSA 10. These surprisingly, I thought this was like a $25, $30 card. These do like 50 to 60 bucks, which I thought was crazy, but picked up that one there. This was a part of the same lot as well. This was one of my favorite pickups of the weekend. A 2006 Finest Tops Chrome Red Refractor of Champ Bailey in a PSA 10, numbered out of 399. Champ Bailey, one of the best DBs of all time in the league. I love the early 2006, 2007, 2008, like the Tops, uh, Tops Finest, Tops Football. I loved the earlier Tops Football stuff. So this was really cool piece, uh, especially in a PSA 10. I thought this was an absolute must buy for myself. Just some cool if I just keep it to look at it. I thought it just, it, it presents well. Next up is a 2022 Flashback Prism Justin Herbert PSA 9. Nothing fancy here. It's like a $15 card, but it's another little thing that can be run on a a, a little cheap whatnot, uh, whatnot stream. Next up is a Fields. This is the 2021 Prism Break No Huddle um, PSA 10 from his rookie year. Uh, this is another little cheap piece. Nothing too crazy, but I'm trying to just stockpile field stuff, even if it's dirt cheap, if it's you know a couple bucks, if it's expensive. I just like adding to it. I don't know why I bought this, but it was part of a bulk deal, so I kind of got a good price on it. 2019 Panini Chronicles John Morant PSA 10. A 2000 or 2008 Finest Moments Tony Romo Blue Refractor PSA 9. This was numbered out of 299, and it's a pop two, so I thought that was cool. Uh, Spectra uh, Aaron Rodgers PSA 10 patch out of 75. Nothing fancy here, just another little patch card. And then the last one of the stream or the show was a Ray Allen Revolution Auto and a PSA 9. Uh, not numbered, but another little cool piece that I thought we had here. So I'm excited for it. But that's it for uh, the pickups for the show, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Let me know what your favorite pickup was in the video or if you were at the Fairfield show, what your favorite pickup of your own was. But that's going to do it all for today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you are new, please consider hitting the subscribe button, leaving a like on the video, leave a, a comment about anything that you want to talk about in there, what you thought of the video, favorite card, like I said, anything like that. Greatly appreciated. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.